everybody. Let's do the new big book, Amy's Diary. You are busy learning past tense. Do you know the past tense of these verbs? What did you do yesterday? I do my homework today, but yesterday I did my homework. I eat dinner today. Yesterday I ate dinner. I take a photo today. But yesterday I took a photo. I go shopping today. Yesterday I went shopping. Today I see a movie. Yesterday I saw a movie. Today I watch TV. Yesterday I watched TV. Today I play basketball. Yesterday I played basketball. Today I go to the park. Yesterday I went to the park. Today I buy shoes. Yesterday I bought shoes. How many of those did you get correct? So our new big book is called Amy's Diary. The title is Amy's Diary. Who is the author of this book? I can't see author on the front cover. Who is the illustrator? I can't see who the illustrator is. Ah, but I know this book belongs to Amy. So Amy is the author and Amy is the illustrator. This book is called a diary. If I see this book, there is a lock on the book. Can I open this book? No, I can't because I don't have the key. Who has the key to this book? Amy does. She doesn't want us to read this book. She has written, keep out, top secret. These are her personal thoughts and feelings in the book and they are private. We are not allowed to read her diary without her permission. In a diary, we write about what happened in our day and how we felt. So the things we did and our feelings. The diary has certain features. At the top of the diary, we always write the day and the date. Sometimes we will put the weather. It rained on this day. Then because the things have already happened, we must use past tense. So we use past tense verbs such as rained, played, cooked, and went. Let's read Amy's diary. Sunday, the 16th of July. We went to the airport in the afternoon. We met Uncle Luke, Aunt Ruby, and my cousin June. We ate dim sum in a restaurant. Then Mum and Aunt Ruby went shopping. June showed me her panda bear. It was cute. We played together. I liked June and her panda bear. Top secret. My happiest memory. I met June. Monday, the 17th of July. The weather was fine, 
so we went to the peak in the morning. June and I took lots of photos. Uncle Luke was funny. We went to the park in the afternoon. Mom and Aunt Ruby went shopping. At bedtime, I showed June my diary. Top secret, my happiest memory. What did you think she liked best? June liked my diary. Tuesday, the 18th of July. We went to Mong Kok. June got lost, so we looked everywhere. I was worried. We found her in her bookshop. June bought a diary. Mum and Aunt Ruby went shopping. At bedtime, June and I wrote in our diaries, top secret, my happiest memory. I found June. Wednesday, the 19th of July. We went to Sai Kung. We ate seafood in a restaurant. Then, we went on a sampan. Uncle Luke was tired, so he fell asleep. After that, Mum and Aunt Ruby went shopping. Top secret, my happiest memory. What do you think Amy liked best about the day? Was it the seafood at the restaurant? Or the sampan. Went on a sampan. Thursday, the twentieth of July. Today it rained, so June and I played games at home. Dad and Uncle Lou cooked dinner. Mum and Aunt Ruby went shopping. Top secret, my happiest memory. We played games. Friday, the 21st of July. We went on the cable car. It was a long ride over the hills. We saw the big Buddha. June and I took lots of photos. Mom and Aunt Ruby went shopping. Top secret, my happiest memory. We went on the cable car. Saturday, the 22nd of July. Today, I was very sad. We went to the airport in the afternoon. Aunt Ruby Uncle Luke and June went home. I found a note on my diary. Top secret. My happiest memory. Hmm. I found June's note. Dear Amy, I enjoyed visiting you in Hong Kong. It was fun. I loved everything. The sampan, the cable car, Hong Kong Park, the Big Buddha. From June. Look in the cupboards. What do you think is in the cupboards? Can you guess? Hi, oh, it's a panda. Why do you think June gave Amy a panda bear? Let's practice our pronunciation of the ending ED for the past tense verbs. In English, ED can be pronounced in three different ways. Listen carefully to column one. What sound does ED make? here. Light, 
looked, cooked. Edie made a t sound. Column number two. What sound does Edie make? Showed, played, rained, enjoyed, loved. Edie made a d sound. Column number three. What sound does ED make? Wanted, painted, started. ED made a id sound. And you can hear that the verb was split into two syllables. Wanted, painted, started. In English, the ending sounds are very important. We must hear them. So let's practice one more time. T, light, looked, cooked. D, showed, played, rained, enjoyed, loved. Ed wanted, painted, started. Happy practicing everybody. See you soon.